Another post I saw this week that brought something up that I haven't heard about since 2009. Did you know there's a swastika in the Bonneville County Courthouse? I would hope not. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is it a swastika or is it the one that looks like a swastika, but it's like turned diamond wise? Well, okay, check this out. It is sort of depending on how you look at it, I suppose. Uh Uh-huh. But no, that's definitely a swastika in the tile, in the floor at the Bonneville County Courthouse. Okay. So you know that before the Nazis appropriated it Mm -hmm. in World War II-ish. Oh, right. That a lot of cultures, a lot of religions Mm -hmm. use the swastika or something like it. Right. To mean... Bright, positive things. Yes. Okay. So it's not necessarily like a Nazi swastika. No, because because the courthouse was built in 1921. Okay. See, my next guess was going to be that it was like something that some teenager graffitied. Right. No, it's it's (laughs) part of the tile. And what makes this, I think, sort of interesting is I had to go back, search my memory banks. 2009, the Bonneville County Courthouse was renovated. Mm Mm-hmm. And they made the decision to keep it for this reason. The Bonneville County Courthouse, built in 1921, so it's 103 years old. Right. Is on the National Register of Historic Places. Right. Which and they you said, can't do too much. They said if you take the tiles out, you can no longer be on the registry. Right. Okay. So what a quandary, isn't mm-hmm. it, though? When Because, you know, now swastika means Nazi. Right. Period. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's sort of like one of those things like um, ground zero used to basically mean the impact of a blast. Right. Whether it was a meteorite or an explosion Mm -hmm. or or a nuclear detonation. Yeah. And then overnight on on September 12th of 2001, ground Mm -hmm. zero became synonymous with the World Trade Centers. Exactly. And which I find kind of sad because it pretty much eliminated one of my favorite Christmas songs of all time, Weird Al Yankovic's Christmas at Ground Zero. Oh. (laughs) Which which we've talked about before. Right. But it's a it's a hilarious song about, you know, coming out of your bunker on Christmas Day. Okay. What a crazy fluke. We're gonna get nuked. (laughs) <laughs> on this lovely Christmas day or whatever it is. Okay, that is actually kind of funny. <laughs> but but would you and and probably for good reason no one will ever play that song mm-hmm. at Christmas ever again. Why do bad people have to keep ruining good things? Right, like okay. The okay symbol. Yes, yeah. So I knew this as the symbol for okay. Yeah. A okay. Mhm. And now it's like means white power or something ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. like white supremacy because apparently your fingers make a W. I I also remember it from the uh, game where you would say something to your friend like, "Hey," and and you'd hold oh. it here or anywhere on your body. Oh, and if they, I looked, mean, I know like that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd hold it down by your knee. Right. Okay. And the game. It, the yeah. game, and if they saw it. Punch in the shoulder. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or like the Pepe meme. Right, that right. got appropriated by white supremacists. Right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, white there's supremacist a whole, man. There's a whole like Netflix Stop or ruining things, Whitey. Hulu. <laughs> there's some sort of documentary about that particular memes in general and that particular mm-hmm. meme. Right, right. But also, this means in scuba diving, this means okay. Yeah. If you give the thumbs up, it means go up. It means we're going to surface. Mm-hmm. But this means are you okay? And if the other person does it back, they say okay too. Yeah. But in case you're in case you ever see it, and in case you're ever wondering. That's why. Okay, nice. You know, I wish I was more familiar with the courthouse because I actually did get a jury summons. Oh, well, yeah. I got, yeah, a summons, but I never got called in for it. Okay. And I'm so mad. That thing where you have to call in advance to see yeah. if you're going to be Which needed. Which is a great system, by the way. Yeah. And I did really appreciate that. But also, like, I want to I want to be part of a jury. You want to? <laughs> I really do. <laughs> you want to be a true crime podcaster? Yeah. <laughs> I just, I really want to be a juror once. I think it'd be an interesting experience. I feel like it would be really enlightening, you know? And I mean, I think it, it's a nice opportunity to judge people, which right. I love. Right. <laughs> Uh, speaking of true crime, we haven't covered anything to do with the Chad Daybell trial. No, not yet. I'm, I'm just not that. I'm Daybelled out, honestly. I don't blame you. After the Lori trial that yeah. I played, paid pretty close attention to. Mm-hmm. So I guess I'm just kind of waiting for the verdict mm-hmm. at this point. I will say I'm kind of shocked by how much Chad's kids believe him. Okay. Yeah. You'd think after the Lori Daybell trial, they'd be a little bit more wary. Yeah. 
Yeah, but maybe but no. they don't watch the news. Well, and maybe also, they get their news from dad. It, it would be really hard to like believe that about your parent, you know, especially after all that time. It would, you know, especially because then they'd have to admit to themselves that, you know, he was responsible for his wife's death, aka their mom's death. Allegedly. Yeah. Next up, Craters of the Moon turning 100. Wow. So it's actually younger than the Bonneville County Courthouse. Hmm. I wouldn't have guessed that. Uh, one uh, place to camp this article recommended Echo Crater. Formed thousands of years ago during a volcanic eruption, it's a large bowl-shaped depression in the earth, and it shields campers from the elements. Okay, by it's turning 100, do you mean like the fact that it was like sort of listed as a tourist attraction? As a national monument. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. And, I, and you know what? Or national park. I, I uh, actually, this time around when I renewed my driver's license, mm-hmm. I, I think it's 10 bucks, 25 bucks extra mm-hmm. to get an uh, annual pass to national parks. Oh, they didn't even offer me that when I did mine. So, yeah, they offer it online. Oh. Well, anyway. I did mine online, too, and I didn't see anything about that. I was, was not paying attention. I think it's just a little tick box, and I was huh. like, yeah, why not? Right, right, why not? So, if you want to go camping at uh, Echo Crater, hmm. at Craters of the Moon, for their 100th. You know, I've actually never been to Craters of the, of the Moon. Not even You've once. never, what? I know, I know. Well, and here's the dumb thing. I know that when I was in elementary school, that was like a really popular field trip that most of the grades would go I on. I took the field trip at elementary school. Right. Yeah. Somehow it skipped my grade. Oh. And I never went. Huh. I don't know what happened. Maybe that was like one time when my parents forgot to sign the permission slip. Drive 90 miles yeah. west out to Arco and it's somewhere past there. You know, I would like to check it out one of these days. So if you ever feel like going for a drive... You know, if we take a Boise trip too, there's a there's sort of a back way to go. Oh, okay. So we and, could do a little two for one. Yeah. And that reminds me, the Northern Lights were this weekend. They went oh. as far south as Utah. Check out this footage. We got a little footage. Kind of impressive. You know, we don't usually get the Northern Lights down here. I did see them once in Lewiston, Idaho. Oh, wow. Okay. But that's, you know, eight hours north. You know, I have heard some really nice things about Lewiston, though. Great town. It's mm-hmm. right across the river from Clarkston, Washington. Yes. It's where the Snake and the Clearwater Rivers converge and form the Columbia. 